Hello and welcome back to Next Stop Nowhere. I'm Pine Fiber, and this is The Escape. Captured by the Yearwoods, Beckett and Sarah find an unlikely ally in Phobos, who changes voice midway through talking to us. And so now we have two bounty hunters on board, Cody, which seems great. Look at this, look at our pin board, look at all the beautiful postcards we've collected. But there seems to be a gaping hole now because we don't have a postcard from this area. What a bummer. What a bummer, dude. Uh, I should remember that the controls for this are a bit wonky. I keep accidentally pressing the pop-up buttons. <laughs> it's like a game of closing ads. Ah, this door is locked anyway. So, nowhere to go but the bridge. And thank you for following us around, Sarah, by the way. Hey, Phobos, do you know where... The two of you should retire trenches? to your quarters. I can see to navigation. Uh... One quick interface. Your server is a cobble system, correct? It will be simple. Oh, we're getting gas. Good uh... for us. So, how about no? Look at Phobos, he's not even phased. He's just standing there menacingly like, yeah, you guys are affected by this jump. This is a piece of cake for me. What's that on in front of our controller? Like a Game Boy? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, we don't know where anyone is. I do not understand the problem. I am perfectly capable of flying my own dang self. Thank you and good night and stop. My central processor is light years beyond the ceiling fan you call a CPU. Oh lord, a power cord measuring contest. <laughs> this is as pointless as it is time wasting. I am interfacing. Beckett, please stop him before I get angry. Temperature increasing. Phobos, come on, disengage. Efficiency is paramount. Do you not wish to reach Edward before anyone else? It is more efficient for me to answer for you. Yes, therefore I am adjusting course. Uh, where are you going? Edward's ship is headed to Pollux. We will travel along the Magdalena Crest to intercept. Take Shani Groff, way faster. I disagree, as does math and physics. All right, pull over. Wait. Ah! I hate robots and also ah, everything oh god are you dead <laughs> yes i am dead oh good ah. or oh not good i'll be ow, fine except for the mm, blood and ah, flesh burning i have some bandages uh somewhere but they're, they're they're more meant for paper cuts service station 82j is along the way they may have a proper first aid kit and chips. Is this gas station along the way, along the way, or along the way, but really way out of the way, along the way? It will be a delay. Then forget it. We need to catch up with Eddie. It's. Ah. Nope. We're going to the station. Stop. Just stop. I. Oh. Ah, I can handle it. Hey, look. Just trying to help. I'm fine. Are we hugging Sarah <laughs> right now? <sighs> Do you? I should. We're wait. I'm just gonna lie down for a minute <laughs> or several. I need a destination. I'm fine. Yeah, keep. Ah, damn it. Mm, keep after Eddie. Awaiting input. I have given you input. Lay in a course for the gas station, Cody. Affirmative. Negative. Ah, God. Yeah, you were you're very convincing, fine. Sarah. Fine. I'm gonna go. go oh, God. I'll lie down. Do you need a. Do you need anything? Maybe, uh, oh, maybe a cup of mm, whatever. Coffee, tea, coffee, and tea. Liquid sounds, ow, lovely. You got it. We should probably do something about Phobos. Unless you'd like a big, spooky, deactivated hunter-killer robot just, you know, standing there, waiting to reactivate and possibly kill at any moment. Okay, can we access his processor? There's gotta be some subroutine that turns him from killer to kitten, right? Scanning. Hmm, well. Looks like little Lord Fancybeard here ain't exactly the technological marvel he babbled on about. He's got a Themalor processor. A Themalor Beckett. <laughs> huh. Can you believe it? What a loser. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, wow. How lame. Themalor, might as well use an abacus, am I right? Basically, we can either alter his programming just a wee bit so he's a bit more agreeable and a bit less 
exceptionally hateable, or we wipe them clean as a whistle and add a new trophy to our trophy room. Additionally, I was wanting to talk to you about turning one of the rooms into a trophy room, but first things first. He could be useful with some tinkering, but you never know when a tinker could turn stinker. So we might be better off dumpster firing the lug. I have no moral reservations with either decision. Erasing his programming would just essentially be killing the guy. Right, Let's so. just adjust him. You never know. Very well. I'll get out the proverbial chisel and micro laser subprocessor modification kit version 3.7. He should be more pleasant company within two shakes. Oh yeah? Hello. Straight to the engine room then. <laughs> That's fine. He's just going down to immediately destroy the engine <laughs> in retaliation. Okay. Listen. Wow. Lots of stuff to do. Uh, we can go down to the package room first. Get no. To the main room, first of all. And down. No. Okay, I need to then walk further in. Then I need to press here to walk that way. That's... That's fine, whatever. It would have been better if they just put a virtual... Oh, you're in the jail cell. If they put a virtual joik on here, but I guess that's not what they wanted to do, so... That's how it is. I... Is this the trophy room? Because you're alive, right? We didn't erase your programming, we just adjusted it. I don't know what you're doing in there. I'll just leave you to it for now. Oh, hey, you're still alive. Good. Let's talk to you. Comfy? Bored. Hey, tell me a joke. Come on. I'm sure you got one chambered. Yeah, um, what did the angry pepper say? I don't know, it just got jalapeno face. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. Take your time. N uh, tell the dumbest joke. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> hey, he likes it. Ah, phew. Oh. Eh, that was a good one. Thanks for the distraction. You're welcome. Hey. Want to run my diagnostics? Remember. It helps update my identity drives and keeps us in sync with what behavior you deem appropriate or inappropriate. So, what do you say? I mean, I still haven't noticed anything that's happened since we did this last. Yeah, let's do it. Sure. Running diagnostics processor, self-analysis systems, updating to 85 AC. So, Sarah was showing uncertainty in regards to what to say to Eddie upon their reunion. Configuring counseling systems. You told Sarah to let Eddie know that he disappointed her, foregoing the comfort of reuniting in favor of emotional honesty, adjusting priority motivation. Though brief, you have now seen the Keller family together. Do you think there is a possibility for yes. a healthy familial relationship between the two? Well, I mean, there's always a possibility. A matchstick's worth of light in the dark, you know? Noted. Counseling systems ideology subprotocols updated. Systems calibrated. Thanks, Beckett. As always, this will help me adjust to whatever future situational or ethical disagreements that may arise. Okay, that's fine. We haven't disagreed yet. But okay. And Cody, can you tell me what the hell this guy is just doing here? Phobos? Phobos, what are you doing? He's just standing there. Okay, I'll just leave you to it. Now, we see that Sarah is sleeping. If we play the guitar, will we wake her up? <laughs> I hope not. Getting there. What do you think, Cody? Like a ficus, there is room to grow. That was an interesting way of playing the guitar, I gotta say. Hey, Sarah, you're sleeping? Okay, that's fine. Let's head upstairs to water our plants. I don't know, should we watch a movie by ourselves? Maybe invite Phobos? You know what? I don't know if we'll get an option to invite anyone, but I'll do that last. I want to water the plants and uh, get Sarah some water or tea or something. Looking good, plants. They can't hear you. You don't know that. Okay. To the kitchen. Let's make... I don't want to give coffee, I want to give water. Okay, I'm giving coffee. Beckett, something... someone is... Cody? Are you being hacked again? Mind if I join you? Oh, he Just said. Just a fresh cup of joe myself, or at least I tell myself it's fresh. What the hell do you want? I lifted Wrench's hollow emitter after you cats left his ship floating. Always wanted one, so... Zapping myself over to have a chat. I also sent an absolutely harmless little hack to keep your door locked there to ensure we have privacy. Oh, Why do we cool. need privacy? Because you're spending time with folks who might not have the highest of high opinions about me. 
And I'd like to set the record straight, or at the very least, only mildly crooked. We got time to kill and freshly brewed caffeine. Let's make use of both. The door seems open to me. Okay. Oh. Yeah, please take a seat. I insist. I'll even say please. Please. That looks really solid. How are you doing that? State of the art hard light holotech. We'll support you in your coffee cup. Just send over a little extra oomph and voila. Place to sit and sip. Gonna chew up a lot of my current charge sending that much energy over, but more to life. You're dumb because right? I have my own chairs. You can just you sit on my sofa. We come across a complete deck, but how rare is that? Huh, as hen's teeth. But over the years, I managed to cobble one together. Let's play a game, higher or lower. I flip a card, you tell me if the next one's higher or lower. Two is the lowest, ace is the highest. Simple as that. Really workshop that title, huh? There's more than plenty to be said for clarity. And while you may not love the game's name, you may like its results. You guess higher or lower correctly, I'll answer any question you got about me, my life, at all. You guess wrong. You answer a question of mine. You're on. No, sir. You are. Four. Heck, whatever shall he pick? Who could possibly guess? Higher. What do you think? Unless Higher, the game's rigged. Of course. of course. Two. Oh, damn. Let's be vain. What Sarah told you about me? If anything, I suppose. Um. Which I... Uh, that you two were a thing, but it was kind of a, a total disaster. Scorched earth, my friend. To the last of the grass. We knew, still went for it. Nobody else to blame. Poor little Eddie, though. You know? Kid didn't ask for that. Let's keep going. It's obviously... Oh, you're drawing eight. a new one. Crazy eight. What's your call, caller? Higher? Lower? I'm all hollow. Logic would gears. dictate lower, but last time logic was wrong. Higher? Should we go for the safe choice? Well, let's no, go let's lower. go lower. King. Oh, tough uh. luck, Chuck. Now, let's see. Oh, I know a perfect one. Do you value your life? Simple question, really. But one that deserves more than a simple answer, I'd say. Uh, yeah, dude. Of course. Who doesn't? Fair enough. Though I'd argue more folks do than should. I'm running low on juice, so this is gonna have to be our last one. Ace. Well then, can't go higher than that. I mean, lower. Come on. There's literally nothing higher, so... <laughs> they just gave us one. Some pity. Oh, another ace. Huh. It's a tie. What does that mean? Uh, juice is running low over here. So today, a tie means I'm just gonna give you some advice. You're in well past ankle deep here. And I'm sure your reasons for sticking around are understandable at worst. Sympathetic at sweetest. But never forget, a falling knife has no handle. And, but, this whole situation is mid-drop. I tell you to run, but the blade is in motion. So, enjoy that coffee. And never say I never warned you. The game was rigged from the start, dude. Oh, that was pleasant. Check it. I think we just had a residual glitch from Wrench's earlier hack. I wasn't able to access the kitchen. What were you doing in here? I detect residual plasma energies. Just how strong did you make that coffee? It wasn't from Wrench's hack. It was Zeb. He wanted to talk to me. What did he want to talk about? And why didn't he just ask politely, but one then the other? I think he wanted to warn me. Oh, well, that's... Neighborly? I think he wanted to warn me that it's too late. Ah, oh, well, that's less neighborly. An update. Sarah is resting, so there is no longer a need to prepare her cup of coffee. Unless you just want it to, I don't know, keep her company. However, given her injured state, I recommend rest. But of course, the remainder of the ship is at your disposal. I'll let you know when we're nearing our destination. Okay. It's just the lounge and the bridge to explore. Now... I wouldn't make the coffee to wake Sarah up, but I'm gonna go watch a movie, because why not? Maybe we can watch the new documentary we found. And let's invite Phobos and Wrench to watch with us. Becky! I was just about to hit play. Care to join? Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? Where's Phobos? Make it a real party. Nope, just the two of us? Okay, that's fine. Uh, what language is that? Not ours. Yeah, this'll be interesting. Okay, for sure that's her brother. Uh, pretty sure it's her husband. Nah, it's a brother. They're kissing. These things happen, Beckett. <laughs> Do they? 
I think that guy's a ghost. Wrench sort of sounds like no, that guy's a ghost. Jake from Adventure Time. Making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Why is everyone dancing? You know what? I liked it. Well, fun not knowing what anyone's saying. It's like uh, interpreting dreams. I like us hanging out. How about you? Yeah, who am I kidding? Of course you yeah, do. Yeah, that was fun. Sure. Yeah, whatever you say. Wreck it or bench? What should we wreck call it this for new sure. Hey, we'll think it over. Revisit soon. Or both. The wreck it bench. Sounds like a good duel. Let's start a hip hop duel. Phobos is doing Lord knows what just sitting there. Standing there in a cage. Maybe he's imprisoned himself because he feels guilty about what he's done. Let's... what is this? Stop at gas station. Ah, oh, we're doing this again. This is cool. Ah, we're frozen. <laughs> what was the, What was the point of that, even? That was completely unnecessary, but okay. We did it. It happened. We're at service station 82J. Get gas and first aid supplies and then get out. Ooh, I wonder if Wrench will accompany me this time. Or am I just going solo, since Sarah's out of commission? Okay, All right, I'll, just I'll only be a second, hopefully. See you soon. Beckett, can you... can he hear me on this? Yes, we can all hear you. Yeah, uh, okay. Just ask for a Ranger medical kit. They'll know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Sit tight, I'll make it fast. Oh, and, uh, get me a, a candy bar. If they have it. <laughs> Alright, just sit tight. I already said that. Uh, hang loose? No. Just hurry back. I need my postcard, please. I've already gone one area without it. Oh, hey, dude. Hello, and welcome to service station 82J. Oxygen's on sale. Restroom needs a key. Browsing for now, but, uh, you have anything I could use? Well, I don't know you at all, but we have some snacks. Okay. Uh, thanks. Okay, medkit. I can see it right here. Guys, I think... Yeah, I think they have one. There's a big R on it. It's yellow. What's the expiration date? It's good. We're in the pocket. I have, like, uh, just enough money for it, too. Great. I'll, um, pay you back when I have it. I just don't right now. Eh, the next time a killer robot tries to make hot dogs out of one of us, it'll probably be me, so don't worry about it. <laughs> thanks. You don't have to do that. But, I, you know, I appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing. I'll be right there. Okay, we have the med kit, and now we want to get a frickin' frack. Hey, Sarah, I think I got something you need. Oh, hey. Uh, the medical? Frickin' fracks. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Hey, this, uh, this guy, oh, firstly, our postcard, and this guy is the one we accidentally turned over to Wrench. Maybe we can invite him to join our journey if he doesn't hate us. Hey, guy? No. Randy? Randy? I come in to get a freeze-dried egg muffin, and I run into my betrayal. I didn't betray you, Sarah did. sell out some other poor sap trying to hide from his problems? Because I'd love the opportunity to warn them. Maybe avoid the same fate. How's your wife doing? Getting over her, uh, whatever she had? Oh, I'm hitchhiking to get to her now? Give me your number. I'll let you know how she's doing when I get there. Oh, it's call sign. I don't want your damn number. Not that I think you have a soul or a capacity for regret or anything, but... If you want to start making up for that crap storm in the junkyard, you can give me a ride if you're headed towards Earth. Uh, we're not headed towards Earth, but sure thing. Wait, are you seriously? Just, uh, you know, keep out of my other uh, passenger's way, Sarah, and we should be fine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. That's, uh, cool. Yeah, Thanks. you can share the cage I'll, with Phobos. I'll uh, meet you out there when you're ready to go. Very cool of you to just trust the guy who betrayed you let's see did I no I grabbed the chocolate and oops what are we doing okay that's all you sell here medical supplies and freaking fracks these uh, freaking fracks look pretty uh, appetizing only to you pal you have the coin yeah sure thing here you go want anything else yep the med kit how much for the ranger med kit uh, oh that Nothing that'll break your pocketbook. Here's what I have. I think that's enough, right? Want anything else? You don't have anything else, so no. How much did that set me back? Nothing. Really? I've had 17 coming into this, and I still have 17? Did I buy this? 
Yeah, I have it. This is the med kit. And... Did I get the frick... Frickin' fracks? I didn't get the frickin' fracks. That's the remote. It's a fuel cell. That's a cassette. That's an ID. That's another ID. That's a wallet. Where's the frickin' frack? Where's the frickin' frickin' frack, dude? Did I not pick- oh, is this it? Yeah, got it. Okay, my bad. Sorry for just assuming. And also it's free, so... Are you sure you don't want my money? Thank you. Come again. You're welcome. I'll come again if you keep giving me free stuff. This was a good stop. Hey, we got free stuff. We recruited a new passenger. And I think that's a good place to stop this episode. <laughs> so thanks so much for joining me. Next time you join back, hopefully, please come back. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. I've really enjoyed this, actually. Next time you come back, we can uh, get on the ship and continue on to following and rescuing, potentially rescuing, Eddie and maybe Nyx as well. So thanks for joining, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.